This is the house that Chips built. Marty Dykus partnered up with a founder of Stacy's Pita Chips. Together, they bought and rebuilt this 1929 Georgian Revival just outside Boston. He took us inside to show off their $12 million renovation. What I like very much in any of my work, it's a challenge. Taking the shell and bringing the new elements to it that would relate to it as well as to the current day. Hi, I'm Marty Dykus, and I work with RH Design and Development, and I did the design work on this house. We are in Chestnut Hill, which is a town right outside of Boston. This is the master bedroom, and it's a good example of the quality that I love in this house, being the lantern-style house. You have a lot of exterior windows. This is one of the master bathrooms, actually the Her master bath, and you can take a shower and essentially have almost an indoor-outdoor shower. And then, as another way of tying everything together, you can walk right inside to his master bath. We're contributing 15% of the profits to Greater Boston Food Bank, which has been a long time running Boston area organization for providing food to the less fortunate. When we saw this property, one thing we fell in love with was just the fact that it was built in 1920s. You have these wonderful specimen trees that you know have been here for over 80 years and they're beautiful. I think the most special thing about this space is that you feel like you're on an estate, you're out in your own complete private world, but you're just really close to a real urban setting. The additions to the house were one of the biggest challenges for me because the house had a strong character and you're adding something to it. You don't want to destroy what's already there. So the living room addition was about creating this pavilion that relates to the house but still has its own character and brought all this glass to it. So the French doors were the main reason to even do this work. The house that we're in was built in 1929. It was actually built by a father who had two daughters and as they were married he built each one of them a home. And this was the home he built for his second daughter. And they lived in the home for probably 40 years. They were one of the two owners of this home until it was purchased by Mark Anderson and myself. This room, I want it to be almost an atrium and, and tie it as much as possible to the outdoors. Even though it is the living room, I wanted to give kind of a sense of more contemporary feel of that indoor-outdoor space, which you don't typically have with a more traditional home. And we actually did this living room addition that we're in right now, and then the kitchen addition. The idea with the kitchen was to create this new space that really ties to the historic feel of the house, and that allowed us to have all this glass and a lot of natural light, which is wonderful in a kitchen. Part of the fantasy of the house is that it's a French chateau, so there's a little bit of that. I love the man cave, although I always refer to it as a club room because I don't want to be chauvinistic and exclude anyone. We have the bar and the fireplace. Although for me, I guess because I'm a designer, I really love these stone columns. It's special working on a space that I really love and I'm proud to have been a part of it, but knowing that when there is a new owner here who's enjoying it, there's another benefit in that there's going to be a substantial amount of money donated to the food bank and there'll be so many people affected by that. Mm -hmm. 